All right, so let's do some tips and tricks for uh, MMC1. This is SF or SG, yeah, SG ROM, which means it has char RAM. And this one I'm going to use an example as Mega Man Ultra, which is a hack of uh, Mega Man 2. Uh, this is my test board. This is one that has not been messed with yet. This one has the prog chip desoldered and this one is a complete one so once again um, you kind of see the difference between my test board and my final one the difference in wiring as you can see I've lifted pins 3 and 4 on the MMC1 chip and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wires looks like and I've actually narrowed that down to where I really only have one, two, three. So the big thing here, of course, is to desolder the, the prog. And then we're actually going to take a, oh, what size drill bit was it? It wasn't a very huge one. I think this one's three mil and it was just a little bit too big. But we're going to drill out the bottom side of pin 30 to disconnect it from power because we're going to wire that one to hole one, the pin. So instead of lifting the pin on this side and trying to run a wire over, we can do it on the bottom, which is way, way easier. And the other preparation is we're actually going to, to scrape away some solder mask right there at pin three. This is a ground plane right here. And we're going to try to bend that pin over and then solder it down to that ground plane. That will save another wire. And then you will cut and lift pin 3. You can pre-solder that one if you want to. Like I said, pin 30 to hole 1. Grounded pin 3. Lifted pin 3. And of course you would have your EEPROM already programmed. This is a... I think it's a yeah, it's a two meg. It's a two meg chip. So we have pin two and pin one lifted. Pin one is bent over and soldered to pin thirty two to pull it high. And then pin two is ran over to pin three of the MC MMC one. And that's it. That's as easy as it gets. Seriously. And by the way, some of these will have 32 pin progs and some of them will have 28. Doesn't seem to make a difference. Just be sure to desolder uh, holes 1, 32, and 31. You don't really need to desolder two. All right, so I'm glad I was uh, paying attention. Um, some of these chips that I soldered down are actually uh, a little different pinout. And I'm actually looking at the uh, 28F020. This is a good reason to look at your data sheets and I actually learned something about regular EEPROMs too I need to amend but pin 1 is still VPP but if we scroll down to what they call bus operations usually it's called a mode operations or something to that effect and you know, you're looking at read only and read and it actually says VPP L so it needs to be kept low and I've never seen that before and then I went back and looked at um, a regular EEPROM which I'll bring that up this is the uh, 27C020 and we go down to there's the pin out still, pin 1 is still VPP uh, we go down to this table mode select table read okay VPP and also program pin there's X and if you look down here X means it can be low or high I actually didn't uh, I don't remember that so I'll take a look at the PCBs here and see a little difference okay so this is the way I've been doing it and matter of fact I was doing it this in the, um, the UNROM wiring video too was I was pulling pin 1 over 
and trying to pull it high on pin 32, well, come to find out on EPROMs, uh, it doesn't matter. It can be pulled high or low, so um, not on this board, but on these other boards, there's actually like a little uh, gold finish exposed there for some circle and letter, and that actually turns out to be perfect for soldering down that pin. There's a finished one right there. Just bend over pin one, solder it down. Super easy. And this is the 28F020. And also, I found that I had a couple other weird chips in there. A 39SF020 and a 29C020. Both of those, pin one is not connected in C. So I just cut them off. Don't need them tied high or low. Well, maybe one more variation. <laughs> Uh, this is an NEC 27C 2001, and I looked it up on the data sheet, and it actually does say to keep VPP, which is pin 1, tied to 5 volts. So the, the, uh, the lesson, read your data sheets. Make sure that these pins are tied the way they're supposed to be tied.